Next up, we have Mexico versus Trinidad and Tobago. So hello, everyone. Um, I want you to imagine something. Imagine that you're a mother. You have probably four kids. And you travel all around the country searching for a job. But you don't make enough money so you can feed them properly. And suddenly, one of your kids breaks a leg. And you take him to the hospital, and no one cares for it. Because you realize you don't exist. Because you don't have papers that recognize you as a Mexican citizen. This is the reality that so many women are living in our country. So many kids are living this. And this is what my program, Navali, is trying to stop. We're giving education for these kids and their families. We hope that this just eradicates the scarcity cycle they live in, and we give them food and health services. I have been living with these kids for over three years now, and I know there's no learning on an empty stomach. There's no learning with so, when you're sick. You can't learn. So I'm here representing all this community and, and all these people that trust me. And I'm telling you, get to know them. See their faces, know their stories, as I did three years ago. You'll fall in love with them. And let's all work for them to chase their dreams and become whatever they want to be. Maybe it's an astronaut, maybe it's a beauty pageant queen, or maybe it's, I don't know, a doctor. Let's help them have a choice. Thank you. So raise your hand if you've ever name-dropped Nelson Mandela into a speech. I, I know I have. And I think that the reason his story is so captivating is because he used education to triumph over incredibly challenging personal circumstances. When he was imprisoned on Robben Island, he studied for his law degree. And later, he launched his career in politics. Education gives us the power and the chance to overcome our personal circumstances. And that's what my Beauty with a Purpose project is about. I built a school in Trinidad and Tobago for children who are not able to fit into the mainstream education system. I built it for Logan, who is eight years old and has leukemia and could not attend school because he was flying in and out of the country to receive chemotherapy. I built it for Louis, who at 15 years old was severely psychologically traumatized because of bullying, because he was gay in school and Trinidad and Tobago is a very conservative society. And I built it for Trina, who is autistic and was unable to function within the mainstream school classrooms with 40 children to a teacher. It's issues like this that children in Trinidad and Tobago face, and that's why I thought it was important to build an alternative educational institution for the children that I work with and work for. This is a huge problem that faces Trinidad and Tobago where 80% of children with illness or disability are unable to attend school. They are a lost generation. Thank you. Thank you, ladies. Incredibly well spoken from the both of you. I would not like to make this decision, but a decision has to be made. So it's over to you, Frankie, and the judges. Barney, neither would I, as a public speaking coach, watching the techniques of pacing and pausing and personal accounts and humor and quotations, it is, is very impressive. So congratulations to you both. And Megan, we'll start with you. Um, you guys both brought tears to my eyes. I mean, I would have bawled if we weren't in front of the camera right now, but Thank you for telling your stories. My vote goes to Mexico. Well done, both of you. I think uh, you took us through the journey of your projects, and the way you speak about it shows how connected you are. Uh, but my vote would be with Mexico. Just congratulations to the both of you, honestly, because that was, you both spoke incredibly, and I want to congratulate you on that. It was amazing to listen to the both of you. Um, but I give it my vote to Mexico. Mexico, congratulations. You have all of the judges' votes, and you will be progressing to the Miss World Final 30. Thank you. Thank you for listening to me, and 
Thank you for being here, all my sisters supporting us, and thank you for being such a great partner. <laughs> and to you, Miss Trinidad and Tobago, a commiserations to you, but again, very, very well spoken. Thank you very much. I'm really, really grateful to have had the opportunity to stand here before you guys today. Thank you, ladies.